Hello friends, welcome to DP Tutorials. In this video, let's see about schedule compression techniques that are nothing but fast tracking and crashing. These two are prescribed by PMI standards. Let's see a sample schedule now. So here the project duration is of 55 days. Now let's see fast tracking. Doing critical activities in parallel thereby reducing the project duration is called as fast tracking. See here by doing the critical activities in parallel we are reducing the project duration to 31 days. Now let's see crashing. By increasing the resources allocated to critical activities, we can reduce the activity duration, thereby reduce the project duration. This technique can't be applied to all the critical activities. Now let's see the illustration of this. See here, the project duration has been reduced to 38 days. Now, let's see an example of this in Primavera software. Here, I have already opened a schedule. You can see the total duration of the project is of 55 days. To fast track the project, we need to change the relationships as discussed to carry out the critical activities in parallel. Now, I am making the changes to start to start relationship rather than finish to start. Now you can notice the change in the project duration when I schedule the project. See the change, it has been reduced to 31 days. Now let's carry out the crashing technique. Here the original duration is of 55 days. Now let's increase the resources to some of the critical activities. Then schedule the project. You will notice that the project duration has been reduced to 38 days. It's nice, right? So friends, this is all about the schedule compression techniques as per the PMI standards. I hope you have enjoyed this video tutorial. If yes, please do give a like, share and comment. For further more interesting videos, please do subscribe to GP Tutorials. Thank you friends. Thanks for watching.